Are you up for adopting a few quick exercise hacks in your daily routine in the time that it takes to boil a kettle to improve your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health? Welcome aboard. But the idea of exercise often fills us with horror. Even myself, at 52 years old, I have always been a fit, healthy person who really enjoyed playing sports when I was younger. But unless I'm actually playing sports with other people, I find it quite difficult to exercise. I'm always trying to convince myself, oh, I'll just take the day off and don't worry about it today, Ben, you'll be fine. But I know perfectly well if I don't do something each day, then the old inner monster starts to come out. I start to feel a little bit negative and start to be a bit bullshy and a bit grumpy and kind of disconnect from myself and other people. So I start, try to start every day with going out on the old trusty steed here. In fact, that bike there is the one I normally go, go out on. It's about 18 years old, but actually, bless his heart, or bless her heart, the gears are completely knackered. So it's not working at the moment. I've had, it, I've had 10, 20, 30 quid thrown at it for quite a while now. So I'm using my daughter's bike she doesn't really use it that much at all now so it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be expensive and smart and sexy looking I go out on this thing here for probably well it's about 18 minutes a day holding my breath on the out breath so I breathe out try and hold it for 10 seconds as much as I can sometimes I only get to six seconds but that's fine then when I'm really needing to breathe I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth and then I go to the top of that hill whiz all the way down and then whiz back up and then climb back up the hill to here and that's sometimes 17 18 minutes and i feel completely different okay so often i'm sitting at my very messy desk there excuse the mess but i'm not going to hide anything from you and i come into my kitchen and i make a nice cup of tea but i'm trying to get into the habit of getting off my computer a little bit more regularly and whilst that kettle is boiling there's what a couple of minutes i could go on social media go through all that, go down the rabbit hole. What else can I do? Well, I've got my guitars there. I'd like to pick that, them up and just have a, a quick five bars of something or just practice my fingers. The trouble is I get a little bit addicted to that and sometimes that's about 15 cups of tea later. But anyway, often I just put my yoga mat down there and I, I get down and I push 20. Well, okay, some people aren't very good at press-ups, but there's all sorts of other things to do. So apart from press-ups, what else do I do? Well, I can get down on the back of this chair, do 20 of those, 30 of those, 60 of those, one or two of those. What else can I do? Well, if we just walk up here, and there's a set of stairs there, isn't there? So taking the stairs two at a time, all the difference. Again, if I hold my breath out, and it's apparently the oxygen levels are much more efficient going through the body. I've also got this bar strapped up here. So it's actually on the way into the bathroom. And I get on there and I do five pull-ups. Sometimes, sometimes I just hang there. A friend of mine who's a gym instructor, he's just suggested I get these bad boys here because then you can hang on it. So if you don't know how to do pull-ups or can't, haven't got to that stage, just hang, hang in there. And I've actually got a, a bad neck and I have a nerve that's gets trapped between my neck and I'm sure that's because of tension from watching from going on the computer the whole time and probably playing the guitar in the one in the wrong at the wrong angle but it makes all the difference so the point is how many times in a day do we have a cup of tea well are we at work we can get down on the chair and do push 20 arm dips or something but in the space of boiling the kettle here we can achieve that three four five times a day how many times can you walk up those stairs? Simple, makes all the difference, doesn't it really? So there we go, few thoughts on how we can just adopt a few extra bits and pieces into our daily lifestyle that make all the difference to our emotional, spiritual, physical and mental health. Let me know what you think in that box below. And if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about how I can support you further, well, I have a newsletter that comes out every month where I share some tips and tricks some podcasts, some books that I've read, 
some stories about inspirational people, even some stories about myself, the troubles that I've overcome that might help you in building mindset and confidence to achieve the great things in life. I have a new podcast, very proud of that, called Uncovering the Aviation Mindset. Definitely not exclusive to the aviation community. It's all about inclusivity, where we discuss how, again, how we build all the, the positive things in life to create success. And if you're interested in looking at my coaching packages, then if you navigate to my website, benlefleming.com, you can book a free discovery call where we can discuss what, what package might suit you to, again, create incredible success for yourself in life. In the meantime, I wish you all the very best and please remember to keep it in the greens. Mm -hmm.